I just bought an entire hobby shop, 54 years old, full of inventory from trains, planes, race cars, figures, press seal toys, so many items, and I'm literally drowning and stuff that we need to get through in today's video. The main thing I wanna to do today is find 20 of the most valuable items, opening up boxes, finding the most interesting and awesome things to hopefully recoup our money as quickly as possible. I've talked about this before, but the Pareto principle, it's the 80-20 rule. Usually the top 20% of the items cover 80% of the value. So our goal today is to find some of those top 20% items, those things that are worth in the hundreds to hopefully recoup the initial investment because it was sizable and get that cash flow rolling again because cash flow is everything in my reselling business. So first, let's see how we got to this point and some of the most interesting finds that we noticed along the way. A couple days ago, we arrived at our storage unit with the 26 foot truck full of hobby shop antiques and collectibles. We packed this load not floor to ceiling by any means. We tried to keep it like four feet tall or less throughout. And we wanna unload a bit strategically. I'm sitting at my storage unit here, it's empty. Even if you guys saw the video where we bought everything, you haven't seen anywhere close to what we loaded in. There's so much mystery, so many boxes, so many items that we haven't even seen. Alex and I started digging through everything as we unloaded the truck and found some expensive, weird, and fascinating items pretty quickly. And I look inside and see something that says PNC Bank, and that is definitely a money envelope. Uh... That's hard to reply. <laughs> There's a sword made by Emerson and Silver, 1863 Civil War. But they go as high as like $600, $700. It took hours to unload it all, but discovering all the old sealed toys knickknacks and even the hobby shop owners personal notes was a one-of-a-kind experience we were able to successfully unload the truck and get everything organized well kind of organized but we were happy to have things prepped to investigate for where we are now so the trucks unloaded and we've got all of the trains right here trains are on average very high-end so we want to spend some time going through those finding the best stuff and then here we have stuff that I considered to be interesting stuff that could be worth good money I haven't confirmed that yet. Skylar and I are gonna confirm that next. This stuff, we're not gonna to touch today. We're gonna to leave this, we're gonna to touch this in a year. I'm not worried about that stuff. <laughs> it was like glassware, stuff that we just don't regularly mess with. And then there is definitely some interesting stuff. We got the fishing stuff all right here. And we've had a lot of comments from the video where we bought the fishing stuff. A lot of people want it. A lot of people are interested. So we might look at some of that. It's going to be a ton of fun because this stuff here is amazing. Keep in mind, 54 years and Ron bought almost only good stuff. He bought the best stuff, the most interesting stuff, and we've got it all. A lot of the stuff that we find still has the original price stickers on it from the hobby shop. Now, I don't know if the stuff is going up or down. Probably it'll be different in all cases. But this one, Ron had priced at $219. Sometimes he actually had it labeled for what he paid. So that could have been what he paid. It could be what he was selling it for. But that's something I obviously want to look out for. I've seen tags up to $2,000 on stuff. So obviously, if we find that stuff, we're going to look into it. So for those 20 items that we want to find, I'm going to make a goal of $3,000 being the value of 20 items that we find. We only have a couple hours, so finding that could be difficult, but I think we can do it because we're off to a good start with this one. Charles Soroya, we found the, the maker on it, and it's tough to find, but something like this, we would say comfortably, is gonna be worth $200. We'll probably start the bid at $200 and hope that it will go up. For our last batch of items, which we're still not even close to done with, there was about a quarter of this amount of trains, and we have over $10,000 in just train sales. With that in mind, I'm curious, comment down below what you think we have in value here. This is all trains, and it goes back, <laughs> all the way back to here is all trains. Quick note, some of these boxes make me really wish that Ron still had what was originally in them. You can see this one says Pokemon Starter Gift Box. Uh, I'm gonna put a screenshot up for what that is, but they came with a jungle pack and some other Pokemon items, and if the six of those were still in this case, we'd be looking at about three grand because they're 500 bucks a piece. Man, what's in here? Yeah, let's see what's actually in here. <laughs> I'm curious if what's in here will be worth more than what was originally in here. I'm gonna say probably not. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I think we might find some winners here. Oh yeah. So we have a 2004 Lionel, brand new in the box. Is this a locomotive? It feels like it is. It's heavy. First thing I do is I go to eBay solds, type in the Lionel, and then 
the number. Because there's also findmylionel.com that Al yes. Pal had. We have a listed one on eBay. This looks like they're asking 210 plus 30 in shipping. Unsold, so maybe we'll call it worth 180. That does beat our average of 150 for 20 items at three grand. This is a missile launcher locomotive, probably from the, around the same era. There you go, one sold at 250 bucks, brand new, which is exactly what we have here. I'm gonna add that to the pile. This one, if it was in a newer box, it's a billboard steam whistle, which I'll show you the part right here. The newer version was worth about 25 bucks. This one is extremely old and it's worth closer to 200. It's crazy, like old and with the original box definitely makes a massive difference in anything, but trains is definitely, you get real premiums if you have the original box on old stuff. All right, so we're looking at the Southern R3 diesel locomotive. I had to go to find my Lionel for this guy. It does not show any listings on eBay, so it gives us the catalog price instead, which essentially is, hey, this is what it sold for back in the day. We can kind of judge our price based off of that. Probably worth that, give or take. In some cases, a lot more though, so uh, not seven. nearly as old as some of the ones we have. But. I think it said seven or eight. Okay, it's about 15 years old. With the Grand Trunk Western GP 38-2 diesel engine. Engines are where it's at. This one's catalog price was 220. And this one is valued at like 400. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's a very, very heavy locomotive. Seaboard Elko. Elko C-420. It's gonna be very easy to hit 3,000 in value, I think, if we continue with trains. I mean, this thing is probably five pounds. If you got it the right way. Oh, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's brand new, factory wrap. Okay, we're so not gonna we're take not it further than it. that, but you can tell it's quality the way the they got it wrapped. The official Lionel ribbon. <laughs> yes. Now there were some nice items that had nice value, but they didn't really make the cut for the limit of 20 that we wanted to pick. So back here in the fishing lures, now I wanna find a few good fishing lures because these are gonna be small listings, really easy to list quickly. Look at that, they're all brand new. Risto wrap. Let's see if we got a good one. I have no idea. <laughs> this is gonna be fun learning about fishing stuff. Just this random newer lure worth 15 to 20 bucks. So, you know, we might have easily a couple hundred dollars in here, maybe more depending on, on how the rest pan out. This isn't what I'm looking for though. We need bigger. We gotta find We better. got We got bigger fish to catch. <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry, baby. Oh, that's hey. what we're looking for. No, this is this is musky stuff now. The There's... best brand that we found is Head On, H-E-D-D-O-N, mm -hmm. which we found some in the box worth hundreds of dollars. I'm trying not to get tetanus. You yeah. got your shots, brother? Uh, like I said, we're on a time crunch. I don't think we should spend our time here, but I do think I found like a 46 hour lure right there. And there's just, I mean, there's endless amounts of this stuff. So that's for another day, but let's go check out what we have on this side. I got some stuff. I remember I put some interesting stuff kind of around I mean, this side. I recognize that phone. While we were digging through boxes, we'd usually select one or two items to look into. If they weren't any good, we'd move on from that box to another. This one says dolls. We'll just take a quick look. All right. New kids on the block. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. That is not going to make our cut for today. It's not even open. We never even looked inside of that one. Oh. Be anything. Well, I couldn't find a knife, so this will have to do. <laughs> that even Did made the noise. That? Oh my gosh, I didn't think it would actually work. Like always, there were a ton of surprises we found hidden in boxes, like Matchbox cars, old war patches, and even this weird guitar looking thing. Euclid. A Euclid? U-K-E-L-I-N. That's made up. $35 at its time, which today would be about $6,000. <laughs> we have two signs right here, the Smoke Camel cigarettes and the Prince Albert. Okay, so crossed out 150. You can go to 130point.com to see exactly what it sold for. We'll just consider both of these signs 100 bucks a piece because they are original. Yeah, they're in pretty solid condition, so. All right, definitely found a big winner here. We'll pop up a screenshot, but I'm seeing sold all day long in the box for $300. This is a Daisy Centennial 1971 BB gun. That's a huge winner and I got a feeling this one might be too. In the box right here, $179 plus shipping on bid. Wow. It's a 1977. So 180 a pot probably, depending on condition. It's obviously all these values are give or take, but usually when the um, when the item goes for a bid, the seller probably could have got more because the person that was really looking for it probably didn't see it in that seven day time span. They might've been willing to pay 250, 300. There's no other options for something this rare. So that bid of 180, usually I see that as very strong value and we might ask like 300 or best offer, take an offer 250 and actually get more than what that was. So. 
180 a piece on these and 300 right there. So we're starting to run out of time today, but we have 10 items and the total value right now is $2,140. That includes one, two, three, four, five, six non-train items, four train items. For sake of time, we're probably gonna find some trade items for the next 10 because those are just very high odds of being amazing and we're gonna find some really awesome stuff. Should we see if we can get to 5,000? Let's go for 4,000. 4,000. Our original goal was 3,000. We're gonna up it since we're gonna have more trains. Let's do it. So I think we're gonna do some digging and when we find something, we'll update you guys. Let's do it. With, yeah, the, with the tender 250. That's, that's big. And we have the original box, so don't forget that. No, I mean, just 250 for the engine, though. Uh, let's call it 250. Let's add it to the pile. It's American Flyer. Screenshot Two, that. 280 sold. So we'll call it 200, put it right in the middle. Look at how pretty that is. I'm not a train guy at all, but Dang. that's very, very nice. Everything's checking out. 2243P. I'm going to check that out for parts. One went for $103 okay. with the box. What does the tender look like? Oh, we found one! 665. Six, six, Did we just pull up this one? That one's about 100 bucks for the locomotive. Maybe more in the box, actually. It's nice when you're looking up something and it pans out to be $100, but you can see how much work it takes just to get one train. Now multiply that by hundreds of lures and other various things. <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of time to get through for things that just won't be worth as much. Chase, do you think you have a strategy moving forward? Would you ever do, I don't wanna say bulk, but are you gonna lot up a lot of stuff that is just lower? Maybe, lower I mean, I might do some like consignment type deals, which I've done in small quantities through the Discord with people that I know and trust in there. And honestly, like fishing lure, stuff like that, maybe? Um, these stink. <laughs> They smell. They smell so bad. This is another Santa Fe one. Another $100 plus right there. Boom. Wow. This one's even heavier. Ooh. Oh boy. That's cool. This is a good one. Um, Looks like it has lights inside. If we find the tender, this is upwards of $600. I hope it's in this box. Um, okay. I'm going to screenshot that. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow, holy cow. We Hello. just found something unbelievable. Um, we did find the tender, the matching tender to this box here. And what I was finding originally on the comps isn't exactly accurate because we have near mint complete boxed. We found one that was unrun new, the set that went on bid for $1,800. We're looking at those same exact items. We found some that are in good condition, complete in the box that went for 800. So we're gonna say, Honestly, these look like they've never been used. They've never been run. We're gonna call them comfortably a thousand dollars just right here Yeah, the upside is 1800 the low side is 800. We'll call it a thousand But that is a massive home run just inside of this random box. We have something special with this buy. This is unbelievable We haven't even scratched the surface. I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. Well, we have finished with our 20 items. We actually only did 19. A couple of them were lots, so it depends on how you look at it. We made up the rules. 19 items, mostly trains. Trains are awesome and their value is insane and it's been blowing our minds ever since we bought the first Hobby Shop buyout. This buyout's even better. 19 items valued at $5,380. Oh, yeah, we passed it. We passed 5,000. We said that kind of as a joke. We changed it to 4,000, but we still easily passed wow. 5,000. The $1,000 train definitely made a huge difference. Those BB guns being a couple hundred bucks a pop and just the trains, average value. The average value total is 283. So the thousand dollars, you take that out, we're still probably at 220 average value. That's a heck of a day. Guys, we haven't scratched the surface. So if you guys want to see another video like this, please let us know. And after a day like this, it's nice to go home and have a nice meal with our families. So Sky Guy and I decided to make dinner for our wives using HelloFresh. In case you didn't know, I'm a spicy boy. So today we're making the crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets, which look fantastic. HelloFresh helps you eat more sustainably since recipes include pre-portioned ingredients 
Choice, which cuts down prep time and cuts down wasted food. You can even customize your meals with Hello Custom. You can swap out one protein or side for another, which means more choices, more variety, and more meals tailored to you. I really like their mashed potatoes, so I'll probably add that everywhere I can. HelloFresh also has veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to help you hit personal goals without sacrificing flavor. I have twins, and HelloFresh has lots of kid-friendly recipes that can help if you have picky eaters. The step-by-step -step recipes are ready in around 30 minutes or less, too, which allows me to spend more time with my family. Go to HelloFresh.com and use promo code RIGHTPRICE16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. My family and I already had these other meals together and were really happy with how quick and easy it was. Honestly, the only hard part about these meals was making sure I didn't get any on my glorious Hawaiian shirt. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com, promo code RIGHTPRICE16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and making my wife think that I finally made it on YouTube. And to you guys for watching this, we appreciate you for supporting us in all the ways that you do, Bartle Do.